open up Pokemon's newest set, Paradox Rift, and check out some of the amazing cards that are in this set. This set is also huge, so I'm super excited about this. I think this is probably going to be the best set of 2023. Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did. Oh well, let's go. We're also gonna be giving away one building battle kit to one subscriber on the channel. All you gotta do to enter is make sure that you are subscribed, hit that like button, hit the bell for notifications, and most importantly, leave a comment down below in the comment section telling us what your favorite card of Paradox Rift is. All right, here we go. I am super excited about this. This set is absolutely huge, guys and girls. This set is insane. We have 34 art rares. There's a total of 84 secret rares. And now secret rares do include regular full art. So I know that sounds like a lot, but it's not as much as everybody thinks, but it is still a very big set. So I'm super excited about this. Personally, we want to pull either the parasol lady or maybe that Tapu Koko or the Roaring Moon SAR card. But anyway, without further ado, everybody, let's take a first look at Paradox Rift. We've got the Zubat, Natu, Purloin, Mindfu, we also have a Komiya Wiglet. I hope we pull that. Curse Duster or Beetle. We have a Masquerine for our first reverse. Mind Shao and a Zatu regular hollow. The other thing that's gonna take me a while to get used to is there's no reverse hollow energies in this set. So I'm gonna keep checking that back card by accident a couple of times probably. So excuse me for doing that. We got a Flamigo, Porygon, Seedra. So many amazing, ooh, speaking of art rares, I hope we get the Magmi, Magby uh, art rare. We got the Screamtail Ancient card here look at the way the ancient and future cards are going to be i absolutely love this and the reverses of these are actually like mirror hollows we have professor sada's vitality Simipor. we have a toad school and a sandy shocks ex full art for our first full art look at that all right so also obviously we're going to be testing to see if the pull rates are the same as the other scarlet and violet sets we've been having the main series sets that is now roughly we're going to be getting three art rares in these i think five exs uh, and two, uh, any combination of two art rares or gold cards. So usually one SAR and one gold card or one SAR. Cyclozar, we have a Porygon reverse. Mantike, we haven't seen a Mantike card in a long time too. It's been quite some time. And a Garchomp EX Terrastalized. This card looks amazing too. Yes, I really do think that this set is going to be the set of the year. It's the most balanced, I believe, for both collectors and players alike, just because they're, that definitely makes a big difference. You know that if if the cards, oh, is that something really cool back there? We got an Oracoria, if the, if the, today junior set has a lot of collectible cards and good playing cards that just means it's going to do very very well long term we have a tulip toad school reverse cloth reverse and a brute bonnet this is what i was talking about see how the uh foil is like a mirror foil this is a regular hollow this isn't a reverse foil so the foils of the ancient cards actually take up the entire card it's like a reverse hollow mixed with a regular hollow and i love the way they did this so what is your favorite all right so do this down in the comments let me know what your favorite art rare is and what your favorite sar is so special art rare and regular art rare me personally it's tough because i like a lot of the cards in this set but i would definitely say the magmi or the groudon for the art rares and for the sars probably that tapu coco or the roaring moon we have a roar arc haunted reverse we got a technical machine. We haven't seen these in a very long time and a Deoxys regular hollow. So going back the the technical machines and also with a Snorlax Snorlax doll, it's going to make for some very interesting things in the TCG. Uh, super excited to see those back in the game because they have not been around for some time and it can make for some like really fun control decks. And I'm going to we're going to enjoy seeing the meta shift a lot with this new set. We have a Chantal. We got Garboder. Garboder also got an art rare. Oh, wow, look at this. And hey, we got a future booster energy capsule reverse. I love the way they did the reverse on that one. Very, very nice. Zacian reverse and a Thievil Hollow. All right, so again, we're gonna see what the pull rates are like on this. So roughly should be in that 12 range, 12, 13, 11. It's usually average. One gold card and one SAR or two SARs. Now there is the rare occasion where you're gonna have only one or the other, but still most of these boxes do contain two. We have an Ella Kid reverse. Wismer, Logan. what are you eating? What are you eating, Wismer? And an Espartha, very, very nice hollow. I always say that wrong. It's a Spathra, not Espartha. I always wanna like, I always think of the, this is Sparta, whenever I do it, and it's just like trying to make a goofy meme, but we're not gonna do that. This is Sparta! Dweeble, Horsey, Joltik, 
Technical Machine Evolution. Now, this card is going to see a ton of play. This is going to be wild. Uh, I would definitely say do not put these in your bulk because you might have like a four seal stone situation with those. Durant, Slither Wing, and I love the artwork on this. Oh my goodness, this looks absolutely amazing. Then we have a Char Cadet Reverse. Crobat Reverse and an Armor Rouge EX. All right, so still no art rare or special art rare yet. We got two EXs and a full art. And again, it should be, I think it's like two or three full arts, five EXs, three roughly on the ARs. So I think that's about the breakdown. Now, this set also has probably one of the best gold cards that Pokemon has ever printed. And that is the Iron Valiant gold card. It'd be super cool if we can get that for our gold card. And the Snorlax doll, this is what I was talking about. Super cool to see this return to the game. We got a Toxa Reverse, Min in Reverse, and a Low Kicks Regular Hollow. So many amazing throwbacks that they're bringing back into the game. And then you got such amazing artworks and obviously some waifu tax. You're probably gonna have some waifu tax in this. Parasol Lady's probably gonna fetch a little bit of a pretty penny. Zubat, and then also the Sada Vitality is a sick card. It's actually a really strong card too. Very, very good card. We have a Defiance Vest and the Loudrit Art Rare. Look at the colors on this. Wow, this looks so good. They did a fantastic job with this. And man, you have to see this card in person because the pictures do not do it justice behind that just a latios regular hollow but man look at this loudred the colors on this card are absolutely wild i love this artwork style all right so we're on the board with our first art rare man oh man that thing looks super cool super super cool would be nice though if i could hit my chase art rare and get that grout on and of course everybody make sure you join us on tuesday again for the build and battle giveaways we're going to be doing those this tuesday it's going to be a lot of fun earth and vessel loudred again steeny and a Galossipod. Galossipod got an SAR, I believe, uh, in this set as well. And Wimpod also got an AR. The Wimpod AR looks really nice too. Just, oh man, it, there's just so many good cards in this set and so many beautiful artworks as well. Uh, regular cards and artworks alike, but man, there are just some bangers when it comes to, we got the, co uh, no wait, this is Shinji Kanda, right? Yeah, this is Shinji Kanda. I thought that was a Komiya artwork because of the style. We got a Durant Reverse, Vanillite, and a Garganical. I think this also got an art rare in this set as well. But going back to 34 art rares again, like Paldea Evolved um, is definitely better than Obsidian Flames. Obsidian Flames was just such a small set and easy to complete. That was easy. Uh, so I definitely, ooh, I think, ooh, no, that's just a regular hollow back there. Uh, so this set is going to be much harder to complete than the Obsidian Flames set. But how easy or how hard is it going to be? We'll find out because we're going to be doing a very big marathon live stream on release week. Ambipom, Punkaboo, and a Palkia regular hollow. So make sure that you hit the bell so that you get notified whenever we do that crazy live stream on the week of release because we are probably going to be opening up roughly a thousand packs in that live stream. I don't know if you heard me counting. I did over a thousand. Kind of see what the pull rates are like and see if we can complete the set in that single live stream we've had a lot of success doing it i think there's only been one scarlet and violet set so far that we have not completed on our first stream roar arc we have knackle stack or choreo reverse and an agis slash another card that's probably going to see a ton of play i don't know how many of the uh openers do play the game i know a lot of people that open pokemon uh you know i feel like lately it's probably about 50 50 when it comes to collectors and players uh, maybe more so collectors uh, nowadays, but it does happen uh, to go back and forth depending on the set, I feel like. We have an Absol, Simi Sage, Norman, Dewblade Reverse. We have a Cyclozar versus there's also a Cyclozar AR in this set that looks really cool. And an Iron Moth Reverse, regular hollow. Man, I love the mirror hollows on these. It goes across the whole card. These look really, really nice. All right, we're almost done with the first half of the box here. Still no SAR and still only four hits. So hopefully the second half of this box is gonna turn it around for us. So we shall see. We got a Feebas, Apom. Apom also got like a Claymation AR, I love it. Steeny, Simipore, Zebstrika. Toad Scroll Reverse, Feebas again, and a Ting Lu. I didn't even know Ting Lu got a regular hollow in this set. Very cool. Yeah, so I wasn't able to look at the entire set list yet. I did kind of familiarize myself with most of the secret rares, gold cards, and stuff like that. I do believe we have seven or nine gold cards this time around, and we have 15 SARs. That's a lot. Um, so it's definitely going to make it so that there aren't as many of the same SARs pulled, which is very nice. We got a Screamtail, Agislash Reverse, 
Groudon, please give us the AR eventually. And we got an Agislash EX. All right, last pack of the first half, and then we're gonna move on. So, so far we are at five hits, so roughly close uh, to being on par. The second half, I'll just have to do just a little bit better, unless there's a double hit pack here or something. We have Knuckle Stack, Luxurious Cape, which also got a gold treatment, Amber Palm, Snorlax Doll, Flamigo, we have a Haunted Reverse and a Chi Yu. Yeah, let me know also down in the comments if you are just a collector, if you're a player of the game, or if you do both. Uh, switch back and forth between both. I know me personally, I do play the game. I don't play as much as I used to, but I definitely go back and forth between playing the game uh, and just collecting, so. But it's just hard not to appreciate the new artworks from Pokemon. It's just, it's just wild. Technical Machine Evolution again. Vanellix, Defiance Vest, Zeb Streaker Reverse, Little and a Mewtwo EX. I forgot my boy got a terrestrialized version in this set. Wish they had done an SAR of this card, though. I feel like they definitely missed out not doing a special art rare of Mewtwo. All right, so that's our fourth EX. And again, why, did, why didn't they do a special art rare version of Mewtwo EX? That's interesting. They did an AR for the Pokemon 151, and it was in the premium collection, so it wasn't even in the set. So... I don't know. I definitely feel like Pokemon has been missing out on a couple key things that they could take advantage of and really big things too. Mindful, we got a Magmi and a Palkia. Like we didn't get a Haunter Gengar um, Ghastly line for 151 in artwork in like an art rare form. And we also didn't get an art rare Kadabra Abra. And I feel like they really messed up on that because uh, it was Kadabra's first time back in the TCG and you don't make an art rare for it? Come on. We got the Kamiya Wiglet, there it is. So, so cool. And what's trippy about this card is, I know this is like, kind of like, I think this is like Coral or something like that underneath, but it almost looks like it's Giratina, kind of like swimming or like looking away. If you look at the Giratina art rare card, it kind of looks like the parts that kind of flow off of its body. Oh, I dropped the whole pack, oh no. We got a Wiglet, Durant. Techno Machine Turbo Energized. We got Wug Trio, Nimble Reverse, and the Porygon Z Art Rare. Wow, look at the colors on this. Kind of in that control radio station there. Really, really cool. Looks like it's at like a gamer's desk. Is that my desk? What's going on here? This is Inception. And we did just have a regular Iron Moth behind that for our hollow. Kind of skipped past that because I was super excited about that Porygon Z. Now, I will say the colors pop like wildly on these AR cards. This is insane. Gabite, Minin. Norman. We skipped a card again. We have an Orthworm, Toadscrew, Seedra Reverse. It evolved into a Kingdra and another Porygon Z. Man, I'm excited to see what this, this set does to the trading card game because it's definitely going to shake things up. Um, these decks that are playing like Sableye and Lost Box, I think those decks are going to be punished uh, by a lot of the cards that are coming out in this set. Porygon 2, ooh, Techno Radar. And I do think that there's going to be pieces that are going to make Lugia stronger as well, which is kind of scary. Countercatcher, Gliscor Reverse. Gligar and a Steelix. Shout out to Full Metal Energy Steelix is his favorite. And there is an Art Rare Steelix in this set too. Maybe we can pull that. We got a slot left for potentially one more AR card. We've pulled two already. But man, this box needs to pick it up. Do you like Miltank? Wimpod, Plusle. We have a Screamtail. We pulled a lot of that Screamtail. Technical Machine De-Evolution. De Explode. Ferroseed. We have a Blip Pub. <laughs> And an Iron Hands EX, there he is. This was the card I was anticipating the most from this set. I love it. I play Maridon, it's gonna be in my deck. And Amp U very much is going to be significantly, significantly strong in the TCG. And the, and the special art rare, this card looks hysterical. I hope we pull it. If not, oh well. All right, so that marks our fifth EX, but super cool to get an Iron Hands because I'm actually gonna be using that card. So super, super excited. Uh, gives you an extra prize card if you get a knockout with its final attack, which is very strong uh, in this game with a lot of the Lost Box decks playing like Sableyes and Corellias and stuff like that. Super strong. Ancient Booster car Energy Capsule. Let's say that 10 times fast. Goodness. Nimble. We have a Galvantula and a Chiyu regular hollow. All right, so still no SAR or gold card yet in this box, which means it's probably going to be a loaded bottom half of this box, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We are at a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. So let's see what happens here. There should be roughly four more. Spinda, Mela, this AR and SAR look, or uh, full art and SAR look amazing. Gorgeist, Octillery Reverse, Luxurious Cape Gold. Gold, the look of it. 
<laughs> we had to hit the button. We had to hit the button. And behind that, we have a Chen Pao regular hollow. But look at the luxurious Cape Gold card. I love this artwork. All right. So let's see if we can find an SAR to go with the gold card. Now, I do remember a couple of the boxes. Man, this pack just does not want to open. I remember a couple of the boxes that we opened that only had one or the other were just a gold card. So it does happen where you can get just a gold card and no SAR. Professor Turo's scenario SAR looks amazing. And the Mind Shell also got an AR SAR treatment. Remoraid, Parasol Lady Reverse, and a more Pico. It's like every pack that we open, I remember another card that got an AR. More Peko also got an AR card where it's like sitting on a mountain of sweets and food. It is absolutely adorable. I love it. So this set's gonna be huge. This set is going to splash in the game and collectors are going to love this set. There's amazing artworks, there's adorable cards, there's cards that really look super, super tough too. Iron Bundle, we have a Charcadet Reverse, and an Eveltal Art right here, that's what I'm talking about, the Flying Bacon. Check out this Eveltal Art Rare with those stormy clouds swirling in the back. I love this. All right, so our art rares were on point. Let's see if we can snag a couple of good full arts to go with this. Maybe Parasol Lady or Professor Sada's Vitality would be really nice. There she is, Parasol Lady. She's right there, right? Right? We got Porygon 2, Octillery, Golbat, Counter Catcher, Masquerade, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. We have a Reverse Pan Sage, a Chen Pao Reverse, and an Altaria EX. Wow, so we actually got a total of six regular EXs in here, which is interesting. I don't ever remember getting that many uh, in any of the other Scarlet or Violet boxes, so hopefully that doesn't take away from our other hits, though. Honich, Dweeble, Veluza. Veluza also got an amazing art rare. We have Garboder, Iron Bundle Reverse. Man, these reverse future and ancient cards look insane. And the regular hollows as well. These look fantastic. We got an Ore Beetle and a Volcanion regular hollow. All right, just six packs remaining. And we are already we are already at 11 hits. So can we make this a 14 hit box and pull some more bangers? I really hope we do. I want to see one of these special art rares. They're all so good. Even the art rare Gaming Ghoul is nice. But the art rare uh, Golden Ghoul would be super cool. If we can pull them both in the same box, that'd be insane. Iron Bundle, Techno Radar, Reverse Gibble, Wimpod Reverse and a Tinglu Hollow. But again, overall, who is super excited about Paradox Rift? Originally, people were saying, ah, I'm probably not gonna do that set. And then as soon as we started seeing all of the spoilers and a lot of the cards that were coming out, people were changing their minds at the drop of a hat. This is going to be, mark my words, the set of the year. This is going to do better than Crown Zenith. This is gonna do better than 151. It's insane. Tulip, Tulip again, Twins Basil. <laughs> And we got a Knackly Reverse with a Toxtricity EX Full Art. Man, look at the giant fighting terror crystal on this set from this angle. It looks so huge. It looks like a balloon. All right, so this box has been pretty good. And we still got four packs left. Man, if there's another SAR in here, oh my goodness. SAR like Sada's Vitality or Parasol Lady would just send this box over the top. Charcadet, Flittle, Trubbish, Veluza, Technical Machine, Turbo Energy, Wug Trio, Spin the Reverse, Horsey, and an Eveltal. But all in all, it does look like it checks out. The hit rates are pretty much the same. You're gonna get two to three of the full arts. You're gonna get round about three of the AR cards, and you're going to get one or combination of two gold card with SAR. It is a very rare occasion that you're gonna get more, uh, but you can get one potentially, but hopefully that doesn't happen in this box. We're gonna pull an SAR, it's gonna happen. Rika, Gorgeist, Professor Sada's Vitality. We have a, a, a mask, a Ferrothorn Reverse, and a Milotic regular hollow. All right, Professor Sada, I need you to summon your special art rare counterpart, please. Thank you very much, Dino Mommy. Not the mama. All right, two packs to go, two packs to go. Come on, we can do this. We can do this, I know we can do this. We just gotta believe. Nimble, Elekid, we have a Vanellish, Onyx, Tatsugiri, Vanellix, Defiance Vest. We have a reverse Slitherwing, and man, these reverses look so good for the Ancient Future cards. I know I keep saying that, but my goodness, they look so good. We have an Apom Reverse, 
and a Kingdra Hollow. All right, so it all comes down to this one last pack. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This has been fantastic. This box, whether or not this is an SAR or not, this was a fantastic box. We got our Iron Hands that we wanted. We got the Veltal, which was one of our Chase Art Rare cards. And hopefully you all enjoy your pre-releases this weekend or next weekend and just enjoy the release. But join us on Tuesday. We're going to be giving away some of those build and battle kits. It's going to be a lot of fun. Professor Turo scenario. Mind show. We have a Brute Bonnet Reverse. All right. Is there going to be a hit behind either of these two cards? Brute Bonnet Reverse. No SAR. So just a Jirachi regular Reverse Hollow. And to finish off the video. Oh, just a Wu Chen regular hollow. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you want to watch more content, click one of the two videos here. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and enjoy Paradox Rift.